Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to my fall fashion edit. I'm so excited for this series. I've been planning it for a couple months now and fall fashion is my absolute favorite so I thought what better than to bring to you guys a, a series of fall fashion inspired videos. So what you can expect to see from me are a variety of different hauls from not only my favorite retailers but from yours as well as well as some fashion and styling videos, so some how-to videos, which I'm very much looking forward to. Now, before we get started, I did want to let you guys know that it would be pretty much impossible for me to keep everything that I share with you throughout the week. Now, for the styling videos, a lot of the pieces I probably already own, and then I will be keeping some pieces from the hauls, but not everything. I just, I can't do that, and it's likely that I already have some similar pieces already in my wardrobe and collection. I've picked out some items that I think are beautiful, that you guys will really like, as well so please bear that in mind and I really hope that's okay with you guys now I thought I would kick off my fall fashion edit with a haul from H&M I am absolutely loving a lot of the things they have in store for this season they really come into their own in the fall and winter particularly with their knitwear kind of a spoiler alert there's gonna be a lot of knitwear in this haul so I really hope you guys are okay with that and you're looking to get some new knitwear into your wardrobe I know I certainly am and what I really like is they do have a lot of different materials and blends of fabrics which is great at a variety of different price points and they're really good for their color scheme so if you find something you like in one color chances are it'll be in several different colors as well so I'm not gonna ramble on anymore let's just get straight on with the video so the first piece I have to share with you guys is this gorgeous camel tone sweater. I really love the color. I think it's absolutely perfect for the fall and winter season. It's a really nice weight material so it's not too heavy but it's not too light and it's great for layering so you can definitely fit a t-shirt or a thermal underneath which I do recommend especially when you're wearing your knitwear. You want to try and avoid to wash your knitwear as much as possible. So obviously when it needs to be washed definitely wash it but I try not to wash it after every single wear just because it is unfortunately going to start to show. That's not necessarily have anything to do with the quality, it's just the way sweaters go and the blends and the material of them. So if you're going to wear something like this, I definitely do recommend either a t-shirt or a thermal or a tight fitted long sleeve shirt. That way you don't have to really kind of worry about your body odor getting onto the sweater and you can avoid having to wash it all the time. I really like the sleeves on this. They're cuffed at the bottom. I love the neckline. I love the bottom. You can tuck this one into skirts, pants, trousers, lots of different ways to wear this piece. Even with a pair of jeans, it really kind of dresses up your overall look. So it is a blend of polyester, of polyamide, of acrylic, and of elastine. So it does have a nice stretch to it. One thing I do want to mention to you guys is I'm actually allergic to wool. So I try to pick out pieces, especially ones that are going to be touching my skin, that have 5% or less. That's definitely a struggle in the fall and winter season, but H&M does have a lot of really great alternatives that doesn't contain either any wool or little to no wool. This sweater I picked up in a size small and it was under 20 Canadian dollars and I definitely think it looks a lot higher in quality than the price point which H&M is so great for. Next up we have this really kind of lightweight knit. It is a little bit on the see-through side but it makes for a great layering piece and I'd say that this is kind of more of a two-neck style top. It's a little bit shorter in the front than it is in the back however this piece would look really nice over a pair of leggings or jeans as well. It has slits up the side and a seam kind of running down the front of it and I actually really like this color. I would refer to this kind of as a tobacco color. Definitely kind of has a 70s color scheme vibe. Kind of like a color that I feel like my grandpa would wear. That's what this color reminds me of. But I actually really like it. It's a really gorgeous neutral piece and Browns are really big this season. This one also comes in a variety of different colors if this one is not your thing. I picked this one up in an extra small and it retails for $24.99 Canadian. Next up we have this absolutely beautiful white fluffy sweater. Fluffy sweaters are very big this season and this one is definitely no exception. I love this color. I think it's so gorgeous. It's a white but almost kind of like has a creamy undertone to it. I think this is such a beautiful piece and it is honestly so so soft which I absolutely love. There's nothing worse than a scratchy sweater that you buy, you love but like you don't want to wear it. This one you're definitely going to want to wear and it's very kind of like a subtle fluffiness going on to it. Now this one is a polyamide and an acrylic material so there's no wool in this one. Again it's very very soft feeling, has a nice stretch to it and it's just a really kind of beautiful piece that you 
you can wear all fall and winter long. I think this will look really cute in the winter as well. This one I picked up in a size small. I did want it kind of a little bit looser fitting and this one is under 30 Canadian dollars. So as you can see so far, H&M has a lot of beautiful sweaters at a very reasonable price point. Now this next sweater, I pretty much love every single thing about from the beautiful color. It's kind of in this powdery blush pink color. I love the cut, the style. I love this really high mock neck. However, this one does contain 10% wool. So I do find it a little bit itchy and scratchy on the skin, especially along the neck. So if you're not wearing a turtleneck and this one's gonna be rubbing against your skin, if you have a wool allergy or sensitivity like I do, this one may or may not be for you. But if that doesn't bother you, it's not too scratchy. It doesn't feel scratchy when you touch it. It's more kind of when you put it on especially around your neck and around your jawline, that's when you're gonna to start to notice the itchiness a little bit if you do have a sensitivity. Otherwise, I think this is absolutely beautiful. I really like how it's kind of cropped with these really kind of balloon billowy sleeves. It's a gorgeous piece. This one also comes in a few different colors as well. This piece I picked up in an extra small and I think this one is at a really great price point. It's under 35 Canadian dollars and it is a very kind of heavyweight sweater that's going to serve you well from the late fall into the winter and it's definitely a piece you can wear in to the early spring because of the gorgeous color. Next up we have more of a tunic style or sweater dress style sweater depending on your height so because I'm quite petite this is definitely more of a sweater or jumper dress on me again I love the color it's kind of in a light beige camel color I think it's beautiful it's actually the same kind of feel and weight as the first sweater I shared with you guys so that camel sweater I love the turtleneck it's beautiful this one also came in like a solid camel however it's like sold out everywhere in store I cannot find it anywhere but the beige one I still think is a really beautiful neutral it is quite long and it is kind of quite a flowy oversized look but that's actually how I like a sweater dress to look now the only thing is it is a little bit on the sheer side because it is a fine knit sweater so you're definitely gonna have to layer something underneath it whether it's a longer top or a slip or something like that just so it's not too see-through unless you go the way of wearing kind of like nude undergarments but I would suggest probably wearing a top or a slip or something underneath it so you're not worried about your undergarment showing in any way. This one I picked up in an extra small and as you can see it is quite an oversized sweater but I really love it. It's so comfy. I mean you can wear it for so many different occasions whether it's lounging around at home running out. You can really kind of dress this one up or down. Be really cute with a leather jacket thrown over top. And this one was under 40 Canadian. Now the last sweater I picked up, I promise it's the last sweater, but H&M, they just have so many good sweaters in their store right now. If you go in store, look online, you'll definitely see what I'm talking about. And this one is no exception. Like how gorgeous is this color? I think this is absolutely stunning and just a really kind of different piece for the fall season. If you're not into neutrals, you like kind of pinks and a little bit of color, this is perfect because you can still style it with a lot of different neutrals. So this is in a chenille style fabric. This reminds me of when I was in elementary school. I had a few chenille style sweaters that I absolutely love. I pretty much wore those things to death and I'm so happy that this has come back in style. We saw the chenille fabric come out last season, so last fall 2017 and it's back for fall 2018 which I am loving. This is gorgeous. I mean, you can wear this color really any time of year. Obviously, you're probably not going to reach for this in the summer. It's a little bit too heavy and too warm for that. But seriously, if you haven't felt a chenille sweater before, they just feel so soft and luxurious. They have a little bit of a sheen to them. I just think they're a beautiful fabric. And this is a piece that you'll definitely be able to wear and style into spring because of this gorgeous kind of berry color. Now, this sweater I picked up in a size small, and this one retails for 38 Canadian dollars. Moving into some jackets so I picked up this beautiful coat and I love the color combination that's definitely what sold me on this piece it has a beautiful camel a gray a black and cream running through it in this gorgeous kind of checked print I think it's absolutely stunning now this one is under 80 Canadian dollars so I just want you to keep that in mind as I go a little bit more through the jacket it has gorgeous pockets at the front and has two just snap button closures and I just really love the look and feel to it it's kind of like a very soft kind of like 
fluffy looking brushed fabric which I think looks kind of high end and luxurious. However, this jacket is not lined and to be quite honest with you, it actually feels dreadful on the interior. It's awful. It does not feel comfortable on your skin at all. Now, it is only 80 Canadian dollars, but now you can kind of see why. Now, I personally wish that they would have gone the extra mile and lined this jacket and just charged a little bit more, whether it's 20, 30 dollars more. I think people would have enjoyed this piece a lot more. Now, I'm not saying don't buy it. I'm not not recommending it. However, if you're going to be wearing something like this and want to pick this piece up, you're definitely going to need to wear a long sleeve shirt or a sweater underneath that you definitely don't really want the inside of it to come into contact with your skin. I also kind of wish they would have changed the buttons on this piece because they used a black stitching. So you can see a black thread there. And I actually think that kind of cheapens the jacket. So if I were to keep this, I'm not really sure if I'm going to or not because I don't know how much this inside is going to irritate me. I might change the buttons on this piece. That's a really simple thing to do. It won't really cost me much to do that at all. But that does kind of cheapen it, unfortunately. But otherwise, I just love the exterior of it. I think it's beautiful and it's a nice piece for under 80 Canadian. All right, the next coat I picked up is this absolutely beautiful oversized jacket. So this one is lined and it does feel a lot nicer. However, I do find the exterior a little bit scratchy on my skin. And I'm actually very surprised on how much this print and color combination is growing on me. So it's a mustard camel and black plaid or checked print. And then it has some nice kind of black hardware buttons. That's kind of what I wish they would have put on the previous jacket. And it is quite a long, oversized looking jacket. It's funny because when I picked this one up in store, there was another lady buying right behind me the exact same piece. So it definitely is a hit. I'll style it up for you guys because I do think this piece has a lot of potential and it is at a really affordable price point. So this one is under 109 Canadian dollars. I picked this one up in a size zero and this one I think fits me a little bit better than the previous one. And yeah, I really think this piece is starting to grow on me. I have absolutely nothing like it in my collection. I just wasn't really sure on the kind of like dark mustard camel color combination but I am starting to really enjoy it and I just think this jacket looks a lot more high-end than the price point. I think H&M's actually done a really good job with this piece. So this is very affordable and they haven't really missed anything on this. It has real pockets at the front. The buttons look good and honestly that just looks like an expensive piece. Alright and my final piece for my H&M haul are these gorgeous faux suede boots. It's the color you guys. I'm all about this gorgeous color for the fall season. Browns are really having their moment and this is kind of like an espresso color and I just love the contrast with the black. So they have a really nice rubber block heel and sole so they have a good grip on them. They're going to give you a really good height boost and they have kind of like a slight platform at the front. I do like the shape of the toe and I love how stretchy and high up this goes. So they're really nice looking on your ankle. The best part of these boots is probably the interior. They're actually a black faux fur all the way through the boots. So they're very, very comfortable and snugly on your foot. They're definitely gonna keep you nice and warm for the remainder of the fall and winter season. These ones were under 60 Canadian dollars and I picked them up in a size eight. I'd say they fit true to size. They are a faux suede, so just bear that one in mind. I don't know if they're gonna hold up as amazingly as a real suede boot would. However, that makes them a little bit more cruelty free. And it's the color, you guys. I'm all about this. And I just think that these are a really kind of nice, versatile piece that you can style so many different ways for the fall season. So that's everything I'm gonna share with you guys for my H&M fall haul. I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this video and looking through these pieces with me, there's still lots more videos to come in the fashion edit, including some other hauls from your favorite retailers as well as mine. So I really hope that you guys are looking forward to that as much as I am. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. That means so much to me and leave me a comment below. I would love to know what your favorite piece was from the video, especially your take on the jackets. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit that red subscribe button below. I'd really love to have you guys here on my channel. I know a lot of us watch a ton of videos and then we don't even subscribe to those channels. It doesn't cost anything to you and you're not gonna get a ton of emails or notifications from me by any means, unless you turn the notification bell on, which you should definitely do, because that way you'll be notified as soon as I upload a new video, and you definitely don't want any of the pieces to be selling out if you want to get your hands on them. So definitely hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. It honestly means the world to me. There's still so much more to come, so I can't wait to see you all again here in my next video. Bye.